Republic TV tells you why Choksi is panicked. He's panicked because his bail has been rejected by the Dominica High Court. We access the bail hearing order, which says they relied upon the Indian government's affidavit. It's very crucial to understand when the Indian government and the MEA, the joint mission, filed affidavits which said that Mehul Choksi's citizenship should not be taken to be that of Antigua, but of India. It's been taken note of by the Dominica High Court. We said fraud has been committed by him in India. 11 offenses have been committed by him in India. He's here a mastermind of the PNB scam. He's also the main contributor, the main beneficiary of the PNB scam. All this has taken has been taken note of by the Dominica High Court when they reject bail, saying that he's at flight risk. What this document shows is that India's aggressive legal strategy has worked to corner Choksi in Dominica courts. The bail order does not mention about any of the affidavits, does not recognize India as a party, and has given us the liberty to apply for the bail again. As I have been saying, that in the bail there is no res judicata, and a bail can be applied again and again because every single day in custody is a change of circumstance and entitles the person to apply for bail. So it is not the end of the road. Second document accessed by Republic shows that Dominica law enforcement agencies have charged Choksi under Immigration and Passport Act as he entered Dominica illegally. From the charge sheet filed in Dominica, he's been charged for an offence which is punishable for one year imprisonment or fine. Had it been India, in India generally the thumb rule is that for offences below three years, a person is not even arrested. All the documents clearly show two things. One, the joint India mission, the agencies, the Ministry of External Affairs, the diplomatic level, as well as the Indian team that is being led legally by Queen's Council and Senior Advocate Mr. Hari Salve, all working together unitedly to ensure Mehul Choksi is dragged back immediately to India. I'm Ritu Manan Bhardwaj in Delhi for Republic TV. Well, Shavan joining us for more details on the same because Shavan, it means basically that uh, the Dominican High Court relied on the affidavit that was filed by the Indian officials. And that is the reason why, why he was termed as a prohibited immigrant and also as a flight risk and thereafter he was denied bail. Well, that's right, Amita. As far as the Indian investigative agencies are concerned, the moment uh, they saw that uh, this is a kind of an opportunity for them to bring back uh, Mehul Choksi, what they've essentially done is tighten the nose. You have a chart sheet that was basically filed on 10th of June to begin with. And the chart sheet essentially calls uh, Mehul Choksi the mastermind as far as the PNB bank scam is concerned. And after that, it was then also filed on 7th of June. This was by the Central Bureau of Investigation. And thereafter, another affidavit that was filed by the Ministry of External Affairs, both targeting um, two major issues. One, essentially looking at uh, the, the magnitude of the crime in itself. And the second affidavit, as far as the Ministry of External Affairs is concerned, looks into the citizenship issue to begin with. Because, remember, that has been the bone of contention. Whether at all, Mehul Choksi is an Antiguan citizen or an Indian citizen. Now, there is enough evidence that has been put forth by the Indian agencies as well as the Ministry of External Affairs that he is, after all, an Indian citizen. And it is imperative that they talk in the court in Dominica takes cognizance of the evidence that has now been put forth. So clearly, this is a watertight case that is essentially being built right now by the Indian investigative agency. Right, Shaman, because we've been speaking uh, to Mehul Choksi's lawyers also, and they have to say that uh, the case, as far as Mehul Choksi is concerned, is just pertaining to the entry into Dominica and will not rely upon uh, uh, whatever Indian government and the Indian agencies have been fighting as far as this economic offenses are concerned. But it seems that the Dominican court has been taken into consideration, and this is going to be a watertight case that's going to build against Mehul Choksi. Well, as far as the information that is now being put out by my colleague uh, Rhythm with regards to the documents that have essentially been accessed, it is important to point out here that uh, all the documents that have been provided by the Central Bureau of Investigation as the nodal agency, 
and the Ministry of External Affairs has now been taken cognizance by the Dominican court. That in itself is a huge relief. And as it has been pointed out by us many a times in the past, that this is a unique case where you have uh, the Indian agency, the government of India essentially trying to get into this case in a foreign country and trying to convince mm. the courts uh, in, in a foreign land. But after all, this is a man uh, who should face the law in India to begin with. And there is enough evidence uh, to, to against him. And remember, money laundering is, is a criminal offense, not just in India, but worldwide. It has been recognized by several countries put together. There are international forums uh, which have come together saying that the menace of money laundering should be tackled. And that is the reason why for several countries it becomes very important to take cognizance of such cases. All right, Shavan, thanks very much for getting us those details. As uh, Meho Choksi continues to remain in the custody of uh, Dominica, we're getting the more and more incriminating evidence as how the Indian agencies are legally working to put forth their strategy.